So let's take a look at um, how uh, composition of functions actually works. Um, if I have f uh, composition of g of x, another way to write that is f of g of x. And what ends up happening is uh, we'll put some value in for x, and then the result will be f of g of x, and that's, that's our final output in the end. So um, the way this looks is something like this. We have this magic box, and what happens is we put our x value in, and, uh, and we end up getting something out. In this case, we'll put our x value into g, and g is negative 2x squared um, minus 5x. And, uh, and so then the output that we get is g of x. And uh, with composition of functions, we'll then go ahead and we'll put that into another magic box. In this case, uh, we'll get an output which will be f of g of x. And in this magic box, we do 3x minus 2. So that's how composition func of functions works. I put an x into one function. I calculate that function. And then that becomes the input to my next function. Let's look at it with numbers. And maybe it'll make more sense. So with numbers, I put into... Uh, let's say that I want to put x as uh, 3. I'll make the math a little bit easy. So that'll be 9 and that'll be negative 2. So uh, th that'll get me um, negative 18. And then minus 5 times 3 will be negative 15. And so the output of that is negative 33. And that will then go into the next magic box that was the uh, g that was the g of x box and then it goes into the next box which is f of x and when we go to do f of x we then do three times whatever is coming in in this case we call it x but it's really g of x and that'll be three times negative 33 is negative 99 and then minus 2 and so then the output of that turns out to be negative 101 so, um, to put it in terms of things that we've seen in the past, what happens is this, is that when we have an x as our input, in the case of composition of functions, um, we'll have an f of g of x as our output. And in this particular case, if I go and I put uh, 3 in for my x, then I'm going to get a negative 101 out for my f of g of x. So basically I've just done two operations on my uh, on whatever it was that I put in originally. That's what's happening. Now um, we can do it algebraically and hopefully you already watched the composition of functions uh, the first video where I showed you an example algebraically. I just wanted to show you what the com what's actually happening. We're actually putting um, an input into g of x and then we're using g of x itself as an input into in to f of x. So g of x here um, becomes the input into f of x. So you might be wondering where in the heck in, in the real world would I ever use such a thing? And it turns out that it's actually pretty common, this composition of functions. Um, like for instance, um, uh, it, it, there, there's this concept uh, where uh, somebody sings and their voice goes into a box and perhaps uh, that box causes some amplification so we'll, we'll call this box amp and that's one function the voice goes in one way and it comes out a little bit louder and then uh, for a composition of functions um, one thing that we might want to do uh, for our g of for our f of x so this could be our g of x and this could be our f of x um, we might want to do something um, there's this thing called auto tune and uh, another name for it is the t pain effect and uh, it makes the voice sound a little bit electronicy um, so uh, so we end up getting uh, an auto tuned voice 
uh, auto tune auto well you know what it is so we get this auto tune voice out after we do these two functions and uh, maybe you might have seen it in a couple of popular videos including this one by Cher So that auto-tune effect that we got, it was a result of the voice going in to a particular box that amplified the voice and then auto-tuned the voice, and the result that we got out was an f of g of x. So this sort of thing is actually done all the time, this use of composition of functions. Um, it, you'd have to go into an electronics engineering class to understand what, what, what exactly is the function. It's probably more complex than 3x minus 2 and negative 2x squared minus 5x but we gotta start somewhere. So th this is kind of the gist of how composition of functions works.